this goes, that goes. Don't need this. Don't need that. Or that. And I don't think Baba needs this anymore. And definitely not this. But, uh, but, uh, hey, wait a minute. That's my favorite. So that's where that went. You can't throw this away, Celeste. It's the Celesteville National Anthem I wrote when I was first crowned king. Oh, Celesteville, the home of elephants, trunks, tusks, and gray, the place for me to stay. Hey, hey, hey! Tusks, trunks, and gray? Oh, Babar. <laughs> well, it sounded better way back then. What? You can't seriously be thinking about throwing away my royal trunk warmer. Almost time for the recital. Oh, Flora, don't you look lovely? She most certainly does. And so do you, Father. Oh, oh, this. <laughs> well, you see, it was a royal gift from the Emperor Penguin. It holds a lot of memories. Not to mention moths. Come on, all right! Boot it to me! Pom, boot it! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. You going to a costume party or something? No, Alexander, I am not. And how many times have I told you not to play ball in the palace? Three? Maybe six? A hundred and five? Sorry, Father. It sort of got away on us. It won't happen again. And I won't see it inside again, will I? No, sir. Have fun at your costume party, Dad. I'm not going to a costume party. I'm helping your mother with the spring cleaning. Oh, huh? Hide and seek? <laughs> Isabel. Well, Celeste, does this go too? No. I think we'll keep her. <laughs> go for the breakaway, Pawn! Yeah! Uh-oh! Look what you did! What do you mean? Look what I did. You kicked the ball, Alexander. Yeah, well, you should have caught it. Well, maybe if I had a 12-foot trunk. Okay, so if you didn't do it and I didn't do it, then who are we going to say did it? Both of us. I guess we better tell Father. Dad just told us not to play ball in the palace. If he finds out about this, we're doomed or worse. Okay, so what are we going to do? Tusks, trunks, and gray. It's where I want to stay. Hey, hey, hey! It's no use trying to hide it, boys. Your old wardrobe's going to the recycling depot with all the rest of this stuff. Some things just can't be replaced, eh, boys? You're telling us? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Now what? Don't worry. We'll get the statue fixed. Uh-huh. And how do we pay for it? Not a cent. Hey! That candy bar's mine. Ugh. Is not. I ate your hat. Anyway, we'll probably have to sell it to help pay for fixing the statue. I'm broke, too. The babysitter isn't coming. But that means one of you is going to miss my ballet recital. I'm sorry, Flora, but someone has to watch Isabel, and everyone else is going to be at the recital. Our money problems are over. We'll babysit Isabel. We will? For a price. I don't know. They are definitely old enough. And we'll still be in the palace. All right. Now keep a constant eye on her. She's pretty quick. We will. And make sure she has a nap. We will. If there's any problem, call us. We'll just be in the ballroom. Bye-bye. Are you crazy? Don't worry. Looking after Isabel is going to be a piece of cake. You shouldn't have given her your candy bar. How did I know she'd end up wearing it? Besides, it was your candy bar. Mine? You said it was yours. It was before she ate it. Now it's yours. 
so you get to clean her up. Me? Why not you? Okay, I'll give her a bath. And you can clean up the trunk prints. Trunk prints? <gasps> Boy, she's out like a light. Told you this will be easy. She'll sleep all afternoon. We've got plenty of time to get the statue fixed. Come on. <laughs> and how much would you charge to fix a small elephant with a broken trunk? How much? Well, uh, thank you for your time. Well, how much? Well, maybe if we babysat for about... 327 years, we could almost afford it. Then there's only one thing we can do. Right. We have to tell Father. Will you quit thinking like a grown-up? I've got a better idea. Glue! We'll just fix the statue ourselves. Sounds like that's not all we'll be fixing. Come on! Mice? Water buffaloes. <laughs> Hide and seek. Uh, another bath. I know. My turn. And there's no sound as sweet as a uh, a uh, the horrible squeak. The horrible squeak of of. Nails on the chalkboard! Nails on the chalkboard? Of nails on the chalkboard! Told you a lullaby would put her to sleep. There, finally. Spotless. Babysitting sure is a lot tougher than I thought. Maybe it would have been a lot easier if we just told Mother and Father about the broken statue in the first place. Isabel? <laughs> Isabel, no! Ooh. Ooh. Stop! Whee! Take cover! Oh! oh. <sighs> and then the evil slime king slithered forward and... <laughs> That's no good, Alexander. You're scaring her. Let me try. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little elephant named Goldilocks who met three wild beasts who blew down the house and so they chopped down the beanstalk and lived happily ever after the end. Boy, you sure know the right stories, Pom. It's not the story, Alexander. It's how you tell it. Let's clean up the study. Now I know what they mean by heavy reading. Father must have tons of books. No lying down on the job. Let's go fix that statue. Oh, the statue? I almost forgot. <sighs> Maybe if we work at it from the inside, we can get some leverage on it. Okay, you push, I'll pull. Peekaboo, I see you. <laughs> hey, the door's locked. Peekaboo, I see you. Isabel, open the door. Hide and seek? Isabel! <laughs> Great. You've got a ruler in your pocket. Give it to me. Oh, perfect. Now go to sleep. That'll hold her. Now let's go fix that statue. <laughs> Think we 
should check. Nah. <laughs> Told you she was fine. Now come on. Alexander! She's gone! Isabel's gone! I locked the door myself. But she's not here. Oh, no. What? Is she in there, Pom? Pom? Pom, what is it? I forgot Isabel's closet is connected to Flora's. She went through the closet to Flora's room and down the hall. We've got to find her. She could be anywhere! Isabel! Isabel! Where are you? Isabel! Wherever you are! Speak to me! This isn't funny! Isabel, please come out! I'll tell you another story! Two stories. The ballroom. For sure Isabel would be in there. Well, she's not. I'm getting worried. Me too. I mean, we've looked everywhere. Except, Except the wardrobe. Oh, no! The wardrobe! Everything's gone! Isabel's toy! Taking our sister to the recycling depot. That's it. I'm telling father. There's no time. We have to save Isabel. get any worse. Not in a million years. <laughs> you were saying? I was saying. Wait, <laughs> 
<laughs> it's gonna be bad enough finding Isabel in this place without that guard hog after us. Hey, Father's trunk warmer. We must be near the wardrobe. And Isabel, let's find her. We're right on track, Alexander. Flora's old bicycle. In my old football helmet, your old soccer sweater, Isabel's wagon, your guard hog. My guard hog? <laughs> into Alexander. We should have told Mom and Dad. Where have I heard that before? Look out! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Alexander, promise me one thing. If we ever get out of this, we're gonna tell Mom and Dad everything. You. Oh, then she's not here. Oh. But guess who is? <laughs> yeah! Funny we both thought of the same thing. Yeah, a cute trick our little sister taught us. What are we gonna do, Pom? We've lost her. I don't know, Alexander. Isabel! <laughs> Ooh. Alexander! Get up! Come on, Alexander! That's it! I've had enough of this! I've lost my baby sister, and you're not helping! Let's go tell Dad! Yes, sir. Dad! Dad! We're sorry, Dad. It's all our fault. Isabel's gone. We didn't tell, because we needed the money, and... And she went through the and, closet. And, and the truck took her away. And Flora's old bike, over the fence. Giant, huge guard hog chased us. And we're sorry. All right, all right, one at a time. And quietly. You don't want to wake Isabel. No, no, you don't understand. Isabel's gone. We've lost her. We've got to find her. Come on. What are you boys talking about? Isabel, safe and sound in her bed. Isabel? Oh, Isabel. It's so good to see you. Isabel, we missed you. Give me a hug. No, me. Me. <laughs> Hide and seek. We'll play any game you want, except that one. Well, it's obvious everything went like a charm. Well, not exactly. Did something happen that we should know about? Maybe you'd better sit down. It's like this. See, Pom had this chocolate bar, and we were playing. <laughs> So I suppose when you really look at it, it's a good thing Isabel wasn't in the wardrobe. We didn't know she was here all the time. Why didn't you come to us? We're your parents. You can talk to us. Yeah, I know. Things got a little out of hand because, well, uh, you know that statue in the foyer? The one we sent to the recycling depot with the rest of the things? Yes. Well, we... The one they sent to the recycling depot, Alexander? Yes, go on. Um, well, we, we're we really gonna miss that old statue, aren't we, Pom? You bet, Alexander. Well, I hope you've learned something from all this. Yes, sir. And you'll come straight to your mother and I in future. Yes, sir, we will. Fine. Phew. However, there's just one more thing. 
Well, it could have been worse. Yeah, I guess it's the least we deserve. Hey, you don't suppose Father knew? Nah. Oh, Celesteville, the home of elephants. Trunks, tusks, and gray, the place for me to stay. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you.